Hey, this is Bethany, and today I wanted to do a type of video I haven't really done before, or I really haven't done anything similar in a very long time. So I wanted to do a facts about me video, particularly because I've never done one before, and also I've had a little bit of influx from subscribers right now, because I am competing in the NYX Face Awards. So I just wanted to introduce myself to everyone that is new, but also do something for those who have been around that have never got this type of video in the first place. Because I always like watching these videos from other YouTubers, and I thought it would be kind of interesting. So let's do it. But first, before we begin, I do want to remind you that I am in the NYX Face Awards right now. If you don't know about it, 30 people get selected from thousands to compete in this makeup artistry competition and my video for round one just went live. So I will link that below if you want to check it out or look at everyone else's entries and see if you like mine. If you do, you can vote for me up to three times a day until the 26th. And I'm reminding everyone on my social media, sorry if I'm annoying the crap out of some of you, hopefully not, but just letting you know that's going on if you do want to check it out. So anyways, let's delve into these little facts. I have some of them already in my mind, but most of them I'm gonna come up with on the top of my head because I feel like I just wanna see what comes out naturally, things that I consider facts about me. So let's begin. Okay, number one, when I started YouTube, I had a way more bold red hair color because I wanted to channel like comic book redhead, you know, like characters like Jean Grey or whatnot. However, I don't like doing the upkeep and I have had a couple videos on how I colored my hair, but I'm not really an expert on hair color. However, those few videos are some of the most viewed videos on my channel because people like red hair, apparently. So right now, this is my natural hair color, kind of gingery, strawberry blonde, not a vibrantly red, though that would be nice naturally. But I like doing this and it's what my fiance likes as well. Number two, for most of my early life, I grew up out in the country. Uh, when I was like four years old, we moved out on over 44 acres and we had horses, so I know how to horse ride, things like that. So I really, my ultimate goal as an adult someday to, is to buy a home with a little bit of land so that when I have kiddos, I can raise them and they know that experience be, be, being one with nature, shitting in the woods. No, just kidding. Uh, but you know, getting to look a little critters and just kind of feel a closeness to the earth that is something I miss very dearly and even in my own backyard I can feel that pretty well sometimes but I just really want to live out in the country someday again and hopefully I will have that journey someday and show that to you all. Number three. I think this is fitting for number three, but I have three cats that live in here with me and one that you all seem to love a lot is Bub. Uh, I'll probably insert like a picture of him right here since he didn't come calling when I said his name. But yeah, I love him to pieces. I love all my cats. I'm kind of a cat lady, but someday I would like other things as well too. Number four, someday I would like some variation, probably a mutt, but like a mixed breed of like a German Shepherd or like a Husky, something to that degree because I want like a wolfy dog. I just feel like I've met dogs that are a little bit more wolfy looking in stature and I like their personalities. They're kind of like, oh, they fight you on things. And a lot of them have just really unique personalities, some of them very loyal personalities. But what I'm re most really interested in is the fact that they sass back and I just think that that's perfect for me. So someday I would like a dog when we have like a bigger yard or something. I just think that would be cool. Number five, I actually have lots of parents, like 15. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, when I was born, I was given away for adoption and raised by someone else, my mom, that I grew up with. And then before I turned 21, I was able to find both of my biological parents and I do have a good relationship with both of them. I've never really talked about it that much on my channel, but sometimes when I'm like, my mom did this, my mom showed me that, you have no idea which mom I'm talking about because I got multiple moms. I kind of have multiple dads too because I have my dad, I have my stepdad, and then I have my stepdad. <laughs> so I like to joke that, oh my god, Father's Day or Mother Day, Mother's Day is coming. I have like 15 parents. <laughs> it's pretty cool because I actually have more support, I feel like, than some people. And I'm glad that I was able to find my biological parents. And not a lot of people have that privilege. But I am adopted, so... Number six. When I was in high school, I had a couple different dreams of what I wanted to be, but uh, the main dreams I had was I wanted to be a fashion designer or I wanted to be a model. I actually dabbled into modeling a little bit, but some of that stuff felt very 
uh, scary and unsafe to me and I kind of eventually lost interest in that type of dream if that makes sense. I I know what I'm doing right, right now it has some superficial elements to it. I'm a beauty blogger in the beauty community and the superficial things are going to happen but there was just too much superficialness in what I got exposed to and I don't like the feeling that uh, pretty females are for consumption. That creeps me out. But anyways, so I dabbled in modeling, but my main dream was to be a fashion designer. I do have other things that I dream of more as well than that, but at the time, that's what I wanted to be. Number seven, I have been on YouTube now for nearly or around six years. That's because when I first started a channel and it started getting momentum and I had you know, I think like four or five thousand subscribers, which was a huge deal to me. Um, then YouTube took away my, they like pinged my channel or whatever, took away my ad revenue, which basically shuts you down if you want to be able to do beauty blogging as a career. And then they eventually brought it back like four months later or whatever. But by that time I was like, I just got to get rolling and make a new channel because I had waited a month to see and they kept declining me. So anyways, I had an old channel, things didn't work out. So I had to start all over again after a year and a half of making progress. And at that time, some of my foundation videos were really taking off. So it kind of sucked that I had to start all over again. But I liked making a new slate and finally I got that username back which now is Bethany Faye instead of the Bethany Faye. So I have been on here a while. Number eight, I am obsessed with Zelda. I mean I love like Nintendo games in general but Zelda is one of my favorite games of all time. I connect to it on like a spiritual level and sometimes I wish that I could do a gaming channel because I feel like I would have a lot to discuss in terms of game theories like sometimes I'll see something in a Zelda game and I'll be like oh my gosh I don't think any Zelda theorists out there have talked about this uh, we need to discuss this little clue I found as to the history of the Okai or whatever like I don't know I'm just like I'm just really interested in that type of thing and I, I don't know, don't be surprised if someday I make like a game channel that I just randomly put Zelda videos on sometimes talking about theories that are like burning inside of me. So, uh, but yeah, I love Zelda. I've even done Zelda tutorials on my channel if you want to check them out. I love comic books. Actually, as a kid, I read mostly like Archie comics and things like that. Eventually, a kid on the bus though, I think his name was Trayvon, he gave me an X-Men comic and I was like, like that visual where like the stars are exploding in your brain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do have like a, an interest in comic books. I don't always read them like, I'll be like sporadic. I'll be like several months I won't even touch one and then I'll like delve into a whole crap ton of my collection. I'm kind of weird like that. But um, my dad has like one of the hugest comic book collections I've ever seen. Like room fulls and he's always filtering them in and out. So anytime I want like a cool comic to find I can always go to him because he's equally as nerdy as I am. Number 10. I am 29 years old. I have no idea how old you perceive me to be, but that's as old as I am. I'm currently engaged and wanting to have babies someday. There's fact number 11. I want to be a mama. I want to have babies. And Ty and I have talked about uh, working on that next year. <laughs> but yeah, so number 11 is that I hope to be a mom probably within the next year. Possibly. Hopefully. Can't wait to make babies and uh, I hope that they aren't as whiny as my fiance is. Number 12. I vary between being very socially smooth and then being incredibly awkward. A lot of it has to do with my anxieties, which I've talked about on this channel. I was diagnosed with anxiety and depressional issues when before I even entered junior high, like right beforehand. I can go from just having a fluid conversation with people, really enjoying the time and feeling like everything was alright, and just being like, what the heck is going on? I don't know what to say or I say something really stupid. I'm better about it, but I'm often the person that always felt like, did I say the wrong thing? Did, my foot's in my mouth. Like, what did I do? You know, like, I always felt that way. So, but I think I'm a lot better about it now, but still I have some awkwardness issues, I suppose. Number 13. I have always always throughout my life had long hair. As soon as my hair was long, it was basically always long. I think the shortest I've ever had it cut is here and it just didn't feel right to me. I don't know why. Um, I just don't feel like I look like myself without long hair. And, I, and when I was a kid, I had long hair down to like almost my butt. But that can itch, so don't do that. 
Number 14. While we're on the subject, I actually tried to make my own comic books when I was younger. <laughs> And most of them were based off my brother Brian and they were like in the style of the Archie comics, sort of. And it would just be like Brian comics. I, I just looked up to my brother Brian so much. <laughs> so I would draw him and he had a girlfriend named Laura and they were always doing like goofy Scooby-Doo type things like exploring uh, like e Egyptian pyramids or things like that and unlocking ancient secrets. They, w they probably weren't that great and I don't have them anymore because number 15, when I was like between 12 and 13 years old, my house burned down. The burned down. The one where we lived out in the country. It was pretty traumatizing. We were on vacation for like a fluke vacation. My mom was stressed from working hard at her job and turned off her phone because she was tired of her boss harassing her. And we literally pulled up the hill to our house with it not really being there. It was just like a black charred, terrible mess. It was freaking traumatizing. So that's where most of my earlier comic books went, like my whole Archie collection, and then everything I'd ever made, and things that meant a lot to me and my family, and also I don't know what happened to my cat flubber nutter. And that makes me really paranoid about keeping things plugged in sometimes, so I'm very glad that I have an equally paranoid fiance. He goes around and checks plugs and locks all the time because he's a little bit I think he, he may actually be kind of on the OCD side. He kind of has to be since he's a master tech. So, uh, but yeah, so my house burned down. Random fact. All right, that is my finished video of all these little facts about me. I, it was honestly kind of weird to think about it. Some of them came to me so quickly and then some of them I had to sit down for a minute. I was like, is there anything else about me? But I'm sure if I sat here for a while, any person could come up with hundreds, but I tend to talk about them more in depth, probably more than I should. So, but yeah, so those are these little uh, facts about me. Some of them a little quirky, some a little sad, some of them happy and good. So uh, hopefully that helped you all get to know me a little better and see what kind of person I am. And I thank you all so much to everyone who's been supporting me in the Nick Space Awards and everyone who's subscribed to me previously and recently. I really do appreciate it and I'm really working hard to try to improve my channel and make things that I enjoy and you all like because those are the two most important things. So yeah. Uh, so hopefully you all enjoyed this and if you did be sure to leave it a like down below to help me out with the YouTube algorithm because they're really weird about that stuff. Uh, but anyways, again, I thank you all so much and I will see you next time. Bye bye.